When my father started the ice cream, well, even before that, my father came to this country when he, from Greece. Both my parents are from Greece. When he was 11, he came with my uncle George, who was about he was about 20 at the time. My uncle George was like a surrogate father um, with with my dad. They initially went to Brazil, Indiana. And I'm, I'm guessing at the year is about 1905. I'm guessing it. Daddy was born in 1890, probably 1902, somewhere in there. They had an uncle in Brazil, Indiana, who was in the candy business. And they started learning about ice cream and candy there. Daddy went to school in Indiana, uh, through high school there, and Uncle George just worked with, with their uncle. Then their sister, after that, married. Well, when she moved to Savannah, the, the letters started back and forth, please come, I miss the family. So around, uh, again, I'm guessing 19, 12, 13, 14, somewhere in there, 15 maybe, my, my father and my uncle came down to Savannah. They started making ice cream. And from the beginning, um, it was always, they always tried to find the very best, in fact, that's a trademark of theirs, the very best products they could find to put into the ice cream. And we did that back then, and because I promised him I would always do it, we sure do it now, too. But anyway, the 20s, 30s, and 40s um, were, were, were good years for us. The business expanded, the gallonage went up. Um, in, the four, well, in the 30s, my father used to say, when the Depression hit, it, um, it didn't affect, he said, Savannah or the ice cream business as much as the rest of the country. Part of that is ice cream is a happy food. I mean, people come in predisposed just to be happy. I shouldn't hit the microphone. Um, so even during the times we're in today, which are recessionary, and even during the Depression, it was, it was a business and a food that people enjoyed getting. So we, we strive to do the same thing now. If any of you recall the old store, I mean, we had the back room there. We had pinball machines back there. It was a lot of fun for a kid. I mean, I, I was growing up. My father was in the ice cream business. I had a lot of friends. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, was a, it was an idyllic time and an idyllic place to grow up. My father died before I went to med school. So I came back to Savannah and started running the ice cream business. For, then I ran it for a while and decided I didn't want to be a doctor. Um, so then I also decided I think I should leave town for a while, go to New York, where I've been going since childhood, and just see what, what, what I wanted to do. My Uncle Basil was still alive, so he had the ice cream going at that time at, at Medical Arts over, over there. So then I took off. And that's when I realized, oh, it's a cool business, this film business thing. Of course, you're 25. It, it's <laughs> It, it seemed cool at the time. So I said, I'm going to do that. So I spent 10 years learning, because I, I didn't know a doggone thing about film business, but I spent a long time learning. Meanwhile, I never forgot about ice cream. Then uh, people would ask me, I'd come home to visit m my mom, and people would say, what, we missed the ice cream, please do something, please do something about it. My, my standard answer was, um, I'm in a different business now. I'm in the motion picture business. So, um, Time went by, then a some, couple of friends, one of whom who's here tonight, that's Laura Lawton standing, sitting back there. Well, Laura and Polly, that's, that's Polly Cooper, came to me and said, we missed the ice cream, we'll help you, let's do the ice cream. And I said, remember one thing I said, Laura, I said, well, if we found the, the correct place to do it, I might consider it. Laura and Polly went out and found the correct place to do it, they called me up one Friday afternoon and said, the place is on Broughton Street, 212 East Broughton, but you've got to move on it right now because on Monday it's not going to be there. It's not going to be available. So we went down there. We were sitting at home just minding our business. We went down there, peered in the windows, didn't have a key, and saying, oh my goodness, wh what do we do? So we just went ahead and jumped in and said, okay, let's do it. A production designer friend of mine from the film business helped with the design of the store. We used the elements that we had. We had the soda fountain, we had the back bar, we had the phone booth, we had a lot of photographs. Um, so we started putting it together and started uh, testing ice cream, drinking cream, doing what I said earlier, and deciding what we were going to do and how we were going to do it. Well, I'd always promised my dad I would never change anything, and I haven't and I won't. 
but we have a little tiny room in the back there that we make ice cream in and a little six by eight freezer. So we struggle to keep up. We, we try to decide which flavor is going to run out and run make that. Then do that. It's, 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 it's a constant guessing game. So, and, and there's no room to expand down on Broughton Street. There is no room whatsoever. So what we're doing now is going back to, to our roots. We're going back to Habersham Street. That will be the future. Part of that future as well is that will enable us to sell a lot more ice cream in Savannah as well as on, on the internet. Internet sales of ice cream to a degree, but of almost anything. That's the future in some ways. People do buy a lot online. So that's the future of, of Leopold's ice cream. And a little bit about the past. There's a lot more to it. I touched on the film business. That's, I, I call it, that's, that's my day job. If any of you come to the store, you'll notice a lot of posters. I have props in there. There's a camera, an editing machine, old ones that, 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 are, that are collected. Um, when I started in the film business, I thought, well, this is, this is something really nice to do. I think I'd like to do it. My intent was to produce pictures. But since I knew nothing, 10 years went by as I was learning about, what, about how. Each department did certain things, and, and, and how do you make movies? And as time went by, I, I had opportunity to do a bit more in the film business, working in location managing and production managing, assistant directing, various jobs, until I, then I started on the producing side about 15 years ago, something around 20 years ago, maybe. And I had, then I segued into um, these large movies that I've been doing. Uh, Mission Impossible 3, The Sum of All Fears, General's Daughter, the, these movies are all, they're fairly, they're, they're high budget action pictures, at least the first two are. Um, my heart always has been in smaller films, films that have meaning to characters, the films that have immutable change in characters. This is something that we've talked about in Savannah here, in fact I've, I've spoken to, to the city council and to the mayor a great deal about bringing movies to Savannah. Um, well, when you look at it, there, there are reasons why films don't shoot here today. One of them, hopefully, we, we've addressed. Other states have tax incentives, which uh, Georgia did not have something that, that was even comparable up until a few months ago. The governor has signed a bill which gives us some parity with South Carolina and Louisiana, both of which, both states, have been very busy in the film business. So. Um, hopefully things, the plan now is to start beating the drum and bringing movies back to Savannah specifically and back to Georgia. So, so back to movies in Savannah. A fellow sitting back here, as Chris Helton and I are, are in the midst of putting together what could be a, a film studio, sound stages here, for two reasons. One, to try to entice larger productions to come here, but also to grow indigenous film. I've always felt that movies that make sense from a story standpoint, Driving Miss Daisy was a great film. And there's a market for that. That's what I want to spend the next 10 years or so doing. Just finding movies like that, love to shoot them all right here and, 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 and get them out there. I think there's an untapped market on both ends of the spectrum. Films like that as well as films for kids, for little kids, like Disney, Disney did in, in, in the day. Those two areas of the market, I feel, aren't being tapped at, at, as, as, as well as they should be at all. Um, we'll be doing that over the next decade, I'm sure, just getting into that phase of the market and, and, and pushing it as much as we can on, on, on a local basis. Um, so the future is, is bright in film. It's bright in ice cream. But the future is bright in film. and. I think we'll see some changes in the industry, but I think on, on the most part, we'll see an up, upturn in everything there. So thank you all so, so much. This has been a pleasure, and I, I really do thank you.